So if you're looking for a gaming phone, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you're on a budget, but you also want extra features, then the Xiaomi Black Shark 2 is that phone for you. Let's go ahead and check it out. So Xiaomi released the Black Shark last year. The Black Shark 2 is the successor and it looks like a gaming phone. It's got those aesthetics that you expect, the sharp edges, curves at the back, uh, but now comes of course with a dual camera setup at the back that produces some really interesting photos. That's the first thing I want to talk about, not the gaming. I'll get there in a second, guys, trust me. Uh, you know, the camera is really, really nice. Now you've got a main camera with 48 megapixels um, and the second camera telephoto is 12 megapixels. Take some really nice photos in daytime. Even the portrait mode, you can see the depth sensing there, which you're not expecting from a device that's a gaming phone, especially priced at $558. You can find it for about 500 bucks. Um, here on, on the web. Really nice photos and the low light photography too has actually got me shook. The way the things actually look sharp and bright, you can actually check out detail, focuses on the subject matter. I was quite impressed with the photos and I remember my buddy, um, you know, uh, JV Tech T stated that like the camera is pretty good on this phone. And I have to admit, it is. The front-facing camera is also solid. I mean, it didn't make me look like I'm white or I've been bleaching. You can actually see the contrast between myself and Daniel, you know, really solid. I like the cameras. I'm really impressed with the cameras. Now, besides the cameras though, it's got a 6.39 inch display, uh, which is uh, full HD plus. Uh, you've got the Snapdragon 855 processor. It ranges from six to 12 gigs of RAM, depending on the variant you want, and up to 256 gigabytes of storage. So you can go as high as you want or as low as you want. So the lowest price being six to 128. Now, what does that give you? It gives you a device that plays games really well. Plus, this is a device that runs running Google Launcher, so it's a really smooth experience. Even though they call it the Joy UI, it literally is a Google Launcher on here. And you guys are wondering, how is gameplay on that? Well, we can go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna do, do some gameplay for you, but I also want my buddy, JV Tech T, to tell you about the phone and some of the accessories in his experience, which I don't have, and I actually wanted to share that with you. Because um, Xiaomi has some cool accessories with the Black Shark that make it more like a portable gaming device and less like a phone, but with all the great capabilities I just mentioned. All right, it's my turn. It's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about this crazy phone, this gaming laptop of a phone. Now, the Black Shark 2 uh, is not the only gaming phone out there. It's also not the only phone that has some of the features that we're going to talk about in this video. But I do call it the gaming laptop of a phone in the best way possible. Now, don't get me wrong. As a flagship device, as something that you would use on the daily, there are a couple of things here that are omitted that I don't think a lot of users will be happy about. Even gamers get mad about the fact that there's no headphone jack. The camera is not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a good camera. I have used this phone uh, for vlogging and for photos on many occasions by now. But of course, we're talking about the gaming experience here, and this slider is what makes this phone pretty special. This is the shark space. So you hit that slider, all of the memory is dumped, and then you have just your games. Now, this is not a feature that is necessarily new or even unique to the Black Shark 2, but I think the Black Shark 2 does it probably the best. And we're going to jump into a game uh, that everyone knows. This is probably the game that makes the most sense in the Black Shark 2, PUBG Mobile. So with that in mind, Let's go ahead and get this case on here, and let me talk to you about these controllers. The controllers are independent, so you have these switch-like controllers uh, that go into the sides of this case, and then each one turns on and connects via Bluetooth to the Black Shark 2 smartphone. So once we have these green lights on, we can get into the game. And now here's the thing about these controllers. On the system level, these controllers allow you to map these buttons to the touchscreen controls you might see on the display. On PUBG Mobile, there are a ton of them. And if I were to press this button here, this is where I've mapped all of my different controls. The directional pad, or rather the joystick, uh, is right here, right on top of the virtual joystick that is on screen. And then the touchpad right here is actually mapped to right around here. So somewhere in the middle, that way I can actually use it to move the camera around. Uh, so that is what the setup is here. And you can see that some of these controls might actually get in the way of other controls. So you have to be very careful with that. 
So clearly these controllers do a great job of making games like this much more enjoyable. You have a much better tactile experience. Uh, the problem is that these controllers really only work with games like this. After all, you're not supposed to be using controllers like this for PUBG or Fortnite. Uh, if they find out uh, via the game code that you are using a third-party application and controller, you could get banned. But that's not the case here because, again, they're system level. Now, does that mean that all hope is lost with the Black Shark 2, that you can't use these controllers with many more games? Actually, no, because this is still an Android device, so you can still use this with more conventional game pads, and a lot of the time those game pads are going to map automatically like an Xbox controller to the game you might be playing, like Grand Theft Auto, or uh, KOTOR, or Final Fantasy. So you still have all of that compatibility, it's just this adds an extra layer to it, and it's for games like this. And clearly other phone manufacturers are cluing into this because they may not have a separate shark space or a game space of sorts, but they can detect in their flagship phones when you're playing a game and route more of the resources towards it. That way you get good performance. So that's really what the Black Shark 2 shows us is that uh, gaming forward features like that are becoming more and more important. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on my section of this video. E, thank you again for having me on. Enjoy your tea, everybody, and I'm gonna enjoy this uh, this, oh, another person died. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this game. So there you have it guys, that is really the Xiaomi uh, Black Shark 2. I think it is probably the best priced gaming phone on the market that has some really nice non-gaming features, especially the camera. It's a very simple uh, UI, nice and clean, nothing crazy. The gaming performance is really solid and I think it's, it's something that any mobile gamer would love. And for a phone like this at that price point, think about it. Pixel 3a XLs out. People love that camera because it's the main Pixel camera for the Pixel 3, but it's priced at $479. For literally $30 more, uh, you can pick up the Black Shark 2 that has a good camera, better performance, and a bigger battery, and everything better. Let's just call it what it is. And that's what this actually brings to the table. And that's why I like the Black Shark 2. And I think a lot of people will. Even if you're not a gamer, this is a really solid device that has a really big battery, a good camera, and really smooth, simple Android UI that gets updates and of course will run your latest version of Android. So there you have it guys. That is my reason for saying the best gaming smartphone to buy right now at like 500 bucks. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.